Hey, 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 family, we're back. It's What's Cooking Daddy, guys. Wow, today's an exciting episode, guys. Thanks for following. Thanks for watching, guys. What's Cooking Daddy, the DIY show for the first time, mom. First time, dad, in the kitchen. <laughs> we're going to be making some easy to prep meals. But today, guys, I got an inbox to make a traditional meal, um, which obviously I grew up with back home in Zimbabwe. It's an enjoyable meal. It's called Mufushwa. Yeah, guys, this is called Mufushwa. What is Mufushwa, you want to ask? So Mufushwa is basically dried vegetable guys so it's just yeah vegetables chopped dried up over time yeah it really smells like it was dried so yeah guys um what i'm going to do with this vegetables i'm going to soak it i'm going to boil it i uh, soak it to get some of the the sand up because obviously dried in the sun um, i'm going to soak it and then clean it up put it in the pot to boil it and i'm going to add some onion tomato fry it together and we're going to put our protein you guys have been seeing that thing some nice, nice pork chops that I got at our local butcher. So that's going to be our protein in the pan. I'm going to make this here with, obviously, our pot. So my pots are getting hot on the stove. I've chopped my onion and tomato for my vegetable. And I'm also going to be using a stock cube, guys. So yeah, um, just just add some flavor to that. Mufushwa. Yeah, say that. Mufushwa. Dried vegetable. Yeah. So guys, let's get to it. Um, I'm going to get my pop ready to make and then I'm going to go and soak this here. I'm going to soak it for, for a bit, uh, maybe about maybe 15, uh, 20 minutes. And then when we come back, we're going to chuck it in the boil, make it nice and soft, strain it, add in our onion and tomato. So don't you guys go away. Let's get to it. Get my pop ready. I'm going to pre-cook that there nicely. And we'll be back on What's Cooking with Daddy. Okay, so we're back, guys. Yes, we're back. We're back. So, guys, yeah, my mufushwa dried vegetable got really nice and soft after I soaked it for 15 minutes. I chucked it on the stove now. It's boiling. It's getting soft in the pot. I've put my pork chops in the pan, getting those to ready to like, right? Nice and ready. They fry. They're going to be nice and cooked through. You're going to make sure your pork chops are cooked nice through, you know, and get them really nice and brown. Um, golden brown and crisp. I like them crisp. I don't know how you like yours. Then, when my mufushwa is nicely done, I'm going to then put some oil in the pan. I'm going to, I'm going to take them out of there, out of the water. I'm going to strain them into the colander, put them on the side. Cook my onion and tomatoes nicely, fry them, and then chuck in my mufushwa with my big beef stock cube. And we're ready to plate, guys, after that. We're just a bit simmer, we cook. And yeah, tell me what you want to see, guys, on the show, what's cooking with daddy, guys. It's been an amazing journey, guys. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes and those who are following. Different recipes, guys. We experiment. We're learning. First time cooks in the kitchen and be progressing. If you've been watching the episode, we're just kind of making more and more uh, better meals, getting better with the show. So guys, tell me what you want to see, guys. What's going on with you? We're going to be making sandwiches. We're going to be making different stuff that you guys want to see on the show. I'm really, really enjoying this here. So guys, let me put some salt on this. There we go. And everything's looking good, guys. So when we come back, we're going to be tomatoes and onions. Checking our pork chops, and yeah, that's about it, guys. What's cooking with daddy? Mufushwa, pork chops, and pop today, guys. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys, we're back. Our pork chops are pork chopping. Our mufushwa has mufushwa, guys. Check how much it is from the first time I showed you. So it's expanded, it was very little, but obviously it's hydrated now. And now it's ready um, to get the onion and tomato and get in the pan in the pot. So my pot is nice and hot. Um, I'm going to put in my onions, get those frying, there we go, that's the music we want to hear. So we're going to get our onions busy in there, fry them until they're nice and uh, brown. Not too brown though guys. So yeah, guys, what's cooking daddy is we're having fun today. So, uh, I want to tell you guys, sorry, my good and I, um, so we created our secret handshake. Um, yeah, so if you follow me on, on Facebook and stuff, you'll get to see it. Um, so every time you come back from school, I walk up to the gate and we do our little pa 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 pa, you know, it's just sharing that nice um, father daughter relationship with the young one. And she's so excited about it. Her friends think it's absolutely cool. I think it's cool. What do you do with your kids in, in your spare time? Do you have secret handshakes? Do you have secret codes? We even have secret codes in the house that even the mom doesn't know anything about. Our pork chops are looking good, guys. Oh, yeah. They're looking nice and crisp. I'm going to give it a thin there. Okay, this one may need to stay there a bit. But yeah, they're looking nice and crisp. 
I like my pork chops cooked right through. Our onions are busy. <laughs> yep. Onions are looking good there. Yeah, ultimately the meal is looking superb, guys. So I'm gonna put in our tomatoes and then I'm gonna chuck in our mpushwa. Or do I put in the mpushwa first and then the tomatoes after? I'm not particularly sure, but I'm gonna put in the mpushwa first and just give it a bit of, yeah, just give it fried a bit, right? I think that would be what you'd normally do. Tell me, guys, <laughs> right back home in them. Um, yeah, I'm forgetting the recipe, but Am I right to do what I'm doing? And I'll have it in the final taste, obviously. But it looks it looks right. What I'm doing seems right. Oh, I'm forgetting the pork chop. This pot is really high. Oh, wow, 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 guys. Pork chops are looking good. They're looking good. Yep. So I'm gonna add more more So guys, what I decided to do is add peanut butter as well to the recipe. I'm gonna add some peanut butter to the mpushwa pan. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of mpushwa. I've used half of it from the packet I had. I'm gonna keep the other half um, for a rainy day. Yeah, put it on the side there. I'm gonna fry this here too. This is gonna be yum. And I think my pork chops, no oh guys, the pork chops are looking nice. Yo, I want that, I want that skin, I want that pork skin to really, really fry because I like it crispy, you know what I mean? So we're gonna put it back just for a bit more. It's looking good, guys, it's looking good, we're looking good. Yo, oh, beautiful, beautiful chops. So guys, when we come back, I'm going to add my tomato here, and then I'm going to put some peanut butter at the end, and we'll be ready to plate. I'm going to just put a bit more of that in there. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to put my tomato, and then I'm going to add my stock cube. Yep. And then I'm going to close that. And when it's done, so apparently I put the peanut butter in after our pork chops, I think are finally done. Yeah. There's a lot of smoke there. <laughs> but like I said, it's not cooking dairy, guys. If I burn it, we have sandwiches for dinner. But yeah, we're learning, guys. Tell me what you think. Pork chops and mukushwa. I put two lids, my word. Okay. I think once cooking the egg was going into the panic mode, it's just but I'm calm. Woo! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, guys, the mufushwa is about done. Yep, I'm excited. I'm going to take it off the stove. So, yes, I did add the peanut butter. I put two tablespoons. Um, <laughs> I kind of like did it offset because I didn't want to, yeah, <laughs> get myself into a fix. But it looks good, guys. It looks yum. Um, if you're back in Zimbabwe, you're going to give me these comments. I think it looks good. Um, we're ready to plate, guys. We're ready to plate. Yes, I'm excited. So we're going to get our pump. Um, yeah, give it a bit of a stir. Just to mix it a bit. There we go. Yes. The pump is looking good. The pump has pumped. The mufushwa has mufushwa. The chops have chopped. <laughs> I'm excited. Whoa. Guys. This is not a hit, I don't know. It will be my last episode. I'm joking. Yep. The pump has popped. Let's make it look nice on the plate. There we go. Some chop. Mm. And some mufushu. Guys, guys, guys. Mm, 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 mm. This is Amnande. Check that out. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The moment of truth. Let us eat.
like the gods. Okay, the puppy's hot, but I'm gonna take a little bit and keep that on that corner. Below that. The mufushwa. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I did it. I did it, guys. Mufushwa, peanut butter with pop in the shop. Awesomeness, guys. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching, man. I'm excited. This show is going places. Hmm. Yep. What's cooking with daddy?